Cleaning the interior of my car is as important to me as the exterior because when I'm with my car, I'm mostly inside behind the wheel. I want the cabin to look, smell, and more importantly, feel clean. For today's interior detailing episode, we're gonna cover a variety of techniques. Some are very basic and easy and can be done for under $20, while other techniques are more advanced and will require additional cleaning tools. We're gonna to go over a lot of information today, so be sure and check out AmmoNYC.com for a free downloadable PDF with a listing of these step-by-step -step instructions. Having the right tools is key to doing an interior detail. On this side here, we have microfiber towels, we have brushes, and of course a few products. Um, this would be considered the weekend warrior side of the detailing tools. Over here, we have our professional. We have big heavy vacuums, ozone machines, we have uh, porter cables with brushes on them, steam machines, and hot water extractors. Whatever tool fits your budget, time, and the amount of cars and condition that you're uh, working with, these are all great options for your interior detailing. Once all miscellaneous items are removed from the interior, the first and most basic technique for cleaning leather, plastics, and vinyl is with a designated interior cleaner and a microfiber towel. Apply a few squirts to a clean microfiber towel, then wipe away the dirt with medium pressure. In some cases, this may be enough to clean the material you're working. However, this Lexus requires another few steps because of its heavy dirt and grime. For step two, add your interior cleanser to a soft bristle brush and agitate until a foamy lather is created. Unlike painted surfaces, circles can be used on leather with your interior brush. Don't allow the cleaner to dry on the surface as the dirt is suspended within the lather you created. Immediately wipe with a microfiber towel. After step two, most interiors are back in shape, but in rare cases, technique three may be required. Although this section of the side bolster looks much better, there are small areas that need a little extra help. For technique three, apply two squirts of your cleaner to an interior scrub pad with light pressure and in straight lines, work the remaining blemish until the surface is perfectly clean. Remember to avoid pushing too hard and be aware of old and brittle surfaces as this is an aggressive cleaning technique reserved for difficult stains. Much like paint, always work your way up from the least aggressive technique until you find the method that works best on that particular stain or material. When cleaning most steering wheels, I prefer to use the interior brush on wrapped leather because of the exposed stitching that is easily cleaned with the hairs of the brush. Work in small areas to avoid premature drying and use a microfiber towel to grip the wheel and wipe it clean. It's common for the steering wheel to feel slightly sticky after it's been cleaned because the dirt and oils from the driver's hands have been removed, leaving behind a clean, non-greasy texture. When dust accumulates on the dashboard, simply add two squirts of the interior cleaner and wipe with a microfiber towel. In most cases, using a brush or a scrub pad is unnecessary. Much like the steering wheel, the armrest contains the most body oils and sweat. In this example, I use all three techniques to show what can be achieved after just a few minutes of carefully lifting and removing embedded dirt and oils. Besides the obvious color change from dirty to clean, notice the difference in sheen. The clean side has a natural matte finish while the dirty has a shiny or light reflective quality that's common on greasy surfaces. If you have access to a steamer, it can be extremely helpful on center consoles, cup holders, and plastic seams because of the 65 to 70 PSI it creates with low residual water. A simple microfiber towel along with your brush is also an effective method for cleaning around buttons, shifter boots, and cup holders if you don't have a steamer.
Headliners can be tricky to clean because they are thinner and generally the most delicate material used on the interior of the car. Avoid over soaking the headliner as it can cause the fabric to sag by loosening the glue. Directly apply the cleaner to a brush or mica fiber towel before attempting to clean it. The goal is to lift the stain without tearing the liner or disturbing the fibers. Lightly blot the stain, then comb the fibers to help blend in the cleaned area with the surrounding liner so it doesn't stand out. Make sure to take your time on the driver's side door as it typically accumulates heavy dirt and oil from constant use. All three techniques may need to be used on the various surfaces that make up the door panel. The door jam kick panels tend to be a harder plastic, so I like to use technique three and scrub with firm pressure to remove the common shoe scuffs from getting in and out of the car. If you're a professional, high volume shop, or simply love power tools, you can convert a basic dual action polisher to an interior scrub machine. This brush is designed for leather because it's soft yet effective at lifting dirt. Add a few squirts to the brush and the area being cleaned. Notice I didn't oversaturate the seat because of the perforations built into the leather. Add more cleaner as the area needs it and work the machine in a crisscross pattern to effectively cover the entire area. Wipe clean with a microfiber towel. For the deepest clean, I use a steam machine with a microfiber towel wrapped around the wand. Step one is to heat the surface to open the pores of the leather while removing the top layer of heavy dirt. While it's still hot, step two is to directly apply interior cleaner and agitate with your interior brush. You can also use the scrub pad if necessary. This technique is highly effective for deep cleaning and bacteria removal, especially for abnormally dirty seats and when mold is present. Once all the leather is cleaned and the pores of the hide open, it's essential to moisturize or condition the material to avoid stress cracking or drying out. Be sure to remove the excess residue for a matte finish. Cleaning cloth and carpet can be tricky. Here are a few different techniques that you can use based on the level of dirt, your comfort level, and the machines you may own. No one method is always best, so use the one you're most comfortable with. For the first technique, pre-soak the carpet with fabric cleaner. Then, use the steamer and scrubber nozzle to heat up the fibers. Once heated, reapply another round of fabric cleaner and scrub with a carpet brush. Finally, soak up with a clean microfiber towel. If you don't have any machines, that's okay. Much can be accomplished with a simple bucket of hot water, carpet brush, and a fabric cleaner. Liberally apply your cleaner, then scrub in opposing directions with firm pressure. Once the dirt is lifted, wipe clean with a microfiber towel.
For a professional deep clean, a hot water extractor is a fantastic option because it removes the loosened soils immediately without the need of an additional wet vac step. I use a crisscross pattern to ensure every fiber is heat treated from two different angles so that nothing is missed. Once all carpets are cleaned, I like to follow up with a final vacuum. Afterwards, I install carpet stripes for a fresh, new car look and feel. Start by brushing all the fibers in one direction. Then, use the width of the brush to point the pile in opposing directions, giving the illusion of stripes. When I'm doing my final check over, I like to bring my vacuum along with me to pick up anything I may have missed in the previous steps. Be sure to pull open seat jams and vacuum out seat tracks, all the while visually inspecting your work for stains that may have reappeared as they dried, which is not uncommon. Okay, we've reviewed a variety of techniques and shown a range of tools that I use as a professional detailer. But at the end of the day, use the techniques that work for you and your situation and enjoy the satisfaction that comes from driving a meticulously clean interior cabin. For a downloadable PDF of these steps, check out AmmoNYC.com. That's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching another episode of Drive Clean right here on the Drive Network.